Well, I'm here in front of our old house in Duncanville, Texas. Um, brick chimney, and right in front of it, there's a lot of other trees that have been added, but right in front of the chimney, you can see it. It is a crepe myrtle, got some purple flowers on it. Uh, the top branch almost goes to the top of the chimney, and it's fantastic. Um, believe it or not, um, Ellen and I bought this house back in 1983 and lived here till 1998. 15 years on an adjustable rate mortgage and it adjusted every two years and we wrote it down. Uh, the interest rate went down, may the good Lord be praised. Uh, it was the 4th of July and we'd watch the fireworks at the house, at the home of Stephen Elaine Maddox. In fact, we were even up on their roof watching the fireworks from different municipalities. And it was getting close to uh, probably 10.30, 10.45. And I was pulling out and Steve, who has and still a, a, a landscape business, his daughters call it a lawnscape business. They were just young back then. Had a big pile of trash and on top of it was a crepe myrtle. Uh, he had it out there for trash. He had dug it up from somebody's house. And so I asked him, I said, hey, can I have the crepe myrtle? And he goes, yeah, it's just about dead, but you can have it. So believe it or not, I came to her house, planted it by moonlight. It was about midnight, watered it in. And think about that, that's about 30 years ago and the crepe myrtle is still blooming, still flourishing here on Heather Run at Duncanville. The point of the Vesper is this, the crepe myrtle was trash, it was thrown away, uh, but I redeemed it. Um, I pulled it off the trash pile, planted it, watered it, nurtured it, and it's still growing. Uh, it is a picture of redemption in the Old Testament, um, this idea of redemption uh, the kinsman redeemer in the New Testament. It's the picture of uh, freeing a slave, purchasing a slave out of the um, slave market and setting him free. Uh, that's the picture of redemption in Colossians 1 and in Ephesians 1. We are told that we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, the shed blood of Jesus Christ. So I'm thinking about the old crepe myrtle here on uh, Heather Run in Duncanville. Uh, it was just trash until it was redeemed and then planted and nurtured and taken care of, and it's still flourishing after some 30 years. Today's Vesper, redemption. We have been redeemed unto God by the shed blood of Jesus Christ, and our sins have been forgiven. God bless you. Have a good evening.